Hello everyone. Today, Joe and I have decided to road trip. We are heading to Moline, Illinois. The weather was perfect, so it was a great day to get out. And someone was telling us about this burger place that is up in Moline, Illinois, and the name of it is Steel Plow Burgers. Joe's a big burger person. I'm excited about the mammoth milkshakes that they have. This is supposed to be so amazing and crazy and different, so super excited about that. We're gonna go and test drive Steel Plow Burger and see what we think. What do you think about this? Well, I think it's gonna be a, a really good uh, little outing for the afternoon. The uh, shakes, supposedly, uh, they are probably a nine and a half out of 10 stars. Now I'm really excited. Hurry up, let's go. We are here at Steel Plow Burger, and this is in Moline, Illinois. They have everything from grass-fed beef to, what you say, bison? Bison was a bit of an upgrade. All kinds of amazing burgers and stuff. For me, Joe's here for the burger, but for me, I'm having lobster mac and cheese, and it's supposed to be absolutely phenomenal. The lobster mac and cheese was $12.35, and it's supposed to be absolutely amazing. I'm also going to have one of their mammoth shakes, and I'm not exactly sure which one I'm going to have yet. I'm going to go ahead and talk to Stephanie. She is our waitress, and she's going to explain some of that to us once we get ready to order our shakes. So I was just checking out this milkshake menu, and this thing is so amazing. It's hard to believe that they can even do things like this. She said when they actually bring out the milkshake, it's almost like a presentation that they're doing. But some of the different ones that they have in this particular steel plow burger is they've got chocolate peanut butter, glazed donut, strawberry shortcake, M&M &M fudge brownie. That sounds like you for sure. I did a little bit of a Google search on it and found some images and was blown away at the way these things actually look. I definitely want to try one of these. This is going to be pretty amazing. But I'm also excited about that lobster mac and cheese. That's going to be delicious. What burger did you get? Look at this place. This place is cool. Open Johnny D's Truffle Swiss and Mushroom Burger. Nice. That sounds amazing. Yeah, I think it's going to be really good. And it seems reasonably priced. Comes with fries. $12.35. See, that's not bad at all. That's, that's actually pretty decent. Check out Joe's shirt. I'm a nervous wreck. Wearing a Disney shirt. <laughs> do that a lot. I've got many in Paris. This is from Paris. From Paris at Epcot. I got the lobster mac and cheese. That looks so amazing. Joe. Mine looks really good. Here's a kind of a look at the burger. It's got the melted cheese. The burger I asked for well done. It looks like they've done it properly. So I'm starting off with the sweet potato fries. It has that nice sweet potato taste. Crispy on the outside and still kind of a little bit soft on the inside. Like you'd expect the sweet potato to be. They put all the continents and stuff out in separate little containers because yeah. obviously they can't get sold on the, the table. The large fish fries, the sweet potato fries, and the crisp chocolate fries. Oh, I love those kinds of waffle fries. Take a bite of that burger. Tell me what you think. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see the juice coming out. Oh, yeah. Oh man, let me see if I can show that juice. Good that, lord, that thing is that's juicy. That's one anybody loves. Wow. That looks so incredible. Good so good. what all is on that, do you know? Off the top of your head. Um, mushroom. I think it was a melted Swiss cheese in their own little special spices. Nice. Look at this place. This place is so cool. I love this. It's almost got a bit of an industrial feel. Well, it's kind of named appropriately because we're not that far from John Deere. Oh, ah. And that's probably how they kind of came up with the name of Very cool. Steel Plow because of John Deere. Very cool. What a great idea. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and dig into this lobster mac and cheese and see what we think about it. Might be a little bit hot. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow, that's super good. Super, super good. The noodles are done just right. They're not mushy or anything like that. They still have a bit of an al dente, but not a lot, because I don't like a chewy noodle either. But big, big chunks. Big chunks of lobster. Oh my god. Let's test drive this. 
Oh my god. Mm. Yeah, yes. This is a must do. That is phenomenal. That is so good. So good. So good. And then they've got maybe like a little, I think it must be like a breadcrumb that is baked onto the top of it. That cheese is so good. I'm not really sure how many different kinds of cheese is in that, but that is not your, that's not a box mac and cheese. Mm. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Yes. So you would probably order me a lot of your mac and cheese again. I would so order this again. And again, and again. Yes. The Steel Plow used to be a bar called Governor's that was super popular in the Quad City area. All yeah. of the John Deere executives would come to Governor's. And it was very, very well known. And then the people that owned Steel Plow ended up obviously working out a deal and buying it. And they closed it down and they tried to keep a lot of some of the unique things like the fireplace and that type of thing yeah. to kind of keep it looking similar to what it you know, always had been. But they changed it up to be more known for burgers appetizers and shakes. Everything that people really want. Well, it's, it's the way it's trending these um, days. It's a little bit of a spoof on the whole farming, John Deere, yeah. that type of thing. Yeah. Yep. We have an outside area that's completely covered, and we also, we run like some air conditioning flow yeah. units, so it's not awful during the summer. Nice. And it has heating, and we have glass doors, that bifold doors that shut, so we can use it all year round. But then we have an out, outdoor area that's a patio, and it's it, it seats people, and we have a fireplace out there, too. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. so cool. Yeah. So Stephanie, our waitress, said that I can actually go over it and watch them making our milkshakes. I got the cotton candy and I found some pictures on Google and they look phenomenal. So I thought that one's going to be very cool. I got to get that one. And then Joe got the, which kind of it? Joe got the chocolate peanut butter. I'm not exactly sure what all is in that, but she started going down the list of everything that's in it. It's like, Obviously, this is not something that's low out. It's probably more like a family kind of shape. Yeah. She said they bring a plate on the side so you can disassemble it as you eat it because otherwise it's kind of impossible. It's more the fact that it's just fun and different and crazy. Oh my gosh. That is so crazy. Thank you. So, Jen got the peanut butter one. So it's kind of like a, a little s'more. The mini s'mores on the plate. This has got your marshmallows. Okay, got your chocolate chip. This got probably peanut butter too. Oh my gosh, it's got a little Reese peanut butter cups. Yeah, it's got a little work Reese's cup. And also on everybody, a mini burger. That's hilarious. So what does mine have? Let me back up the truck here a little bit. I chose the cotton candy. So it looks like I got some marshmallows covered in frosting. I think he was putting frosting on the actual glass itself. I'm not really sure what kind of ice cream. I'm assuming it must be like a vanilla ice cream. And Joe's looks like his is probably chocolate. Then I've got like a sugar cone on mine that has cotton candy in it. There's the dots and dots with cream. I do not know what these are, uh, sugar candies, and a burger. Oh my gosh, that's one of those dummy burgers that Rose and Maley love. Yep. Yeah. And then down on the plate, oh, stop, is this that, uh, I know what this is. This is one of my favorite cereals, like alphabet cereal, except for it's the, I can't think of the brand name. Okay, let me test drive it. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. All right, so take a bite, tell me what you think. Yep. Yeah. So good. Peanut butter pancakes are going to last by the ice cream. That is the most hilarious thing ever. So cool. I'm about to freeze the peanut butter cup. Mmm. You know, this peanut butter chip is down here, by the way. We got a chocolate chip. The marshmallows. He's talking and I'm not hearing him. <laughs> All I'm doing is I'm seeing this fabulous milkshake. That looks so amazing. I'm moving stuff. Clean in the house. What is that? Is that like cookie dough? Yeah, I Hey, you're big. I like peanut butter cookie on top. I can't. That's hilarious. Very cool.
Alright, enough horsing around. It's time for me to try this bad boy. Alright, so let's try this. Yeah. This looks like a mess. She said I'd probably have to disassemble it. That's true. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is so good. That's so good. This is not keto. So I'm gonna disassemble it just a little bit. Mm -hmm. I gotta get to the guts here before it's all melted. Yeah, yeah. This is so amazing, so amazing. I am going to try some of this cotton candy. It's super, super good. It's almost like the package kind of cotton candy where it's a little bit dense. Really good stuff. The gummies that they have on there is kind of a sour candy. I love sour candy. Sour candy is amazing. But I would definitely order this again for sure. Really, really good. Yes, that is definitely I'm gonna ask Stephanie to re-explain those shakes. Um, our banana split shake is strawberry ice cream with chocolate syrup and banana, and it is topped with a banana split in a little waffle dish, and uh, topped with whipped cream, cherries, nuts, marshmallow skewer, and it's got a couple wafers on it. The glazed donut is a glazed donut strawberry shortcake. It's strawberry ice cream with cake mix and strawberry puree mixed together. And then it's glazed donut cut in half with whipped cream and they have strawberries in the middle. Super delicious. Some marshmallow skewers. And it also has some strawberry gummies on it. And then um, the brownie, the um, M&M brownie, which tastes like brownie batter. And that is chocolate ice cream with fudge and cake mix mixed in with it and uh, mini M&M's, and then it has um, brownie uh, frosting with M&M's mixed in it, and then two brownies on top of that with marshmallow skewers, and then um, Tootsie Pops, and uh, a long Tootsie Roll. So that's a really fun one, too. I absolutely love this cotton candy one. She, I asked her to explain it to me a little bit when I ordered it, and it's an amazing choice. Good. Amazing. I love it. Really enjoyed it. Very, very good. We definitely want to come back. Well, we want to come back. We've enjoyed having you. This was great. So this place, definite thumbs up. You gotta try it. You will love it. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Come us. Steel Plow Burger of Moline. That place was so phenomenal. Did you enjoy that? Definitely did enjoy that. Go hungry <laughs> because you won't leave hungry. Highly recommend it, definitely. Check that place out. Amazing. Thank you very much, Stephanie, because you were awesome. She was so amazing in explaining everything to us and to you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Please check out some of our other great videos on the Disney parks, the rides, the resorts, the resort rooms, the Skyliner rides, day trips, car shows. We've got so many great videos that I think you'll love. Please hit that subscribe and ring bell notification so you don't miss out on the latest and greatest. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Oh,